In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some pressure out of 3-4 bear. I think this pressure is pretty solid, um, and I don't see a lot of people still running 3-4 bear, so I wanted to post this just to try to see uh, what you guys think of it and if you would consider, um, you know, if you would consider checking out the 3-4 bear. So, what's up guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, uh, my YouTube channel is designed to basically help people get better at Madden. I do that through a variety of different ways, but one of the ways that I do that is I upload four videos a day, every single day, on YouTube with some type of tip like this or strategy or concept that is designed to kind of get you to think a little bit, um, share something with you you might not have tested out before, or maybe it's a Play, maybe it's a scheme, maybe it's um, an ability. It doesn't, you know, it, it's all kinds of different little tips and tactics uh, to help you get better at the game. So just want to share this blitz with you guys. But if you want to go ahead and click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And I think it's going to help you out as well. If you have Madden specific questions, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. All right, guys, we're going to talk about a pressure out of the bear, 3-4 bear. This is in the 46 playbook. Um, some of you have probably gotten my 46 uh uh, playbook defensive ebook. This blitz um, is not in the ebook yet, uh, but there will be some updates to it as well with some different pressures. But if you haven't gotten the ebook, there's more blitzes from the 3 4 bear and the 4 6 and the nickel formations that is in there that are really, really effective. So be sure to check out the ebook. It's got my full offense, my full defense. That link is in the description below. All right, guys, so 3 4 bear and the play, I mean, we all know is going to be pinch buck O. All we're going to do is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line to the left. And then we're going to take this linebacker on the right side of the screen. And we're just going to throw him into any zone that we want. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to take this guy right here. And honestly, you know what I might do is just man him up on the slot right here. Uh, and then I'm going to take my player and I'm going to put him in a blitz. QB contain and pass commit, and you're going to see this is what the blitz looks like. Just a simple left edge pressure, and what you'll see is at the snap of the ball, we're going to get pretty solid pressure coming right at the left side of the field. Now, again, what you want to do with your user, um, a lot of blitzing this year, at least in my personal opinion, is a lot about um, kind of where you stand with your user. And I find that it's very, very effective to stand kind of right in this gap right here and go down about, you know, one or two steps and then go out into coverage. You see, you're going to have everybody manned up. So really your primary job is going to basically be to watch for any crossing routes, any streaks uh, or any um, slant routes. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see go down a couple steps and then you're going to come back into coverage. And typically that blitz is going to come either from the left edge or the A gap. Sometimes it does come through the A gap. It does depend a little bit on how fast, um, how fast your players are. So if you have really, really fast defensive linemen, um, there's actually a really good chance that this is going to come, this pressure is going to come right through the A-gap. Uh, but what you see here, again, just go down just a couple steps here, and you see there that time it comes through, through the um, through the left gap. Now, one other thing you can try with this is you don't have to, you don't have to pinch the line. Uh, I personally think it works a little bit better uh, if you pinch the line. But another thing that you can do is kind of come right in here and kind of be the personal contain. You see here Phillips is on the contain. And at the snap of the ball, you take a couple steps, and then you come back out, and you'll see you're going to get pretty solid um, pretty solid heat that way as well. So those are two different methods. Like I said, um, a lot of blitzing this year is a lot about where you stand with your user. That does determine a lot as far as how, uh, how effective uh, the pressure is going to be. But this is pretty solid pressure, uh, especially from the 3-4 bear this year. You know, kind of a forgotten uh, gym, in my opinion. It's actually still really solid, especially against the, the run in the past. But as you see here, you get a quick uh, quick gap heat, quick edge heat. Um, one of the two are going to come through. So just wanted to share this blitz with you from the 3-4 bear. I uh, want to thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, I want to ask you to do that. But if you haven't jumped in the Discord, Discord is a great way to be able to stay up to date with everything that I've got going on in Madden 21. It's a way that we can talk Madden 21 24-7. I was on stream today uh, for a couple hours this afternoon talking with some guys. I'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. So just be sure to stay subscribed to the channel. There's a lot of content coming coming and I think a lot of it's going to be useful just kind of getting the gears flowing giving you guys things to think about as you put your defensive and offensive game plans together and if you are needing help on either the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball I have one-on-one uh, -on -one personal consult co coaching sessions available for you to pick up. You can pick those up in the description of this video. Those have been very very helpful to my members. Uh, most of the guys say this is 
really, really not what I was thinking at all. It's a lot better. I've gotten more information than I thought I would. I've been helped more. And I will tell you firsthand, when I play my members after a coaching session, it's amazing how much they improve basically overnight. So if you really want to get better at Madden, if you really want to take your game to the next level, I would encourage you right now to go into the description, pick up a personal coaching session. You can pick them up very, very easily down in that link in the description for you. Thank you so much for your time, guys. And we'll see you on tonight's live stream. Thank <laughs> you.